What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. So today I wanted to go over a uh, topic on how to basically use a zero turn when you've never uh, ran one in your life. So um, obviously the first zero turn that you buy is going to be the probably the first zero turn that you'll operate. Um, you may have a, a friend that you can operate theirs and get a feel for it, you know, um, but some of you, like me, when I went to go get my first zero turn, I didn't know anybody with a zero turn. And, you know, I went to the dealership and I bought a mower from a friend, but I certainly didn't tell him that it was my first zero turn and I had never ran one before. I'm like, yeah, I'm a pro, man. I've been, you know, thousands of hours on these machines. And, you know, you don't need to be uh, a guy that, you know, is, is scared to admit that you've never ran anything before. More often times than not, your sales guy will uh, walk you through the process and uh, give you a little rundown on how the machine works um, before you buy it. He's there to set you up for success. He's there to take care of you. So um, never be afraid to admit like, hey, I've never used this piece of machinery before, but I went to go buy one from a friend and by all means, I let him put it on my trailer. I was like, oh, no worries. I'll run it when I get to the house, right? So, so um, I wanted to go over a, a couple basics on just what you need to know. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for a video like this um, and don't want to look like a complete dummy when you go, well, here's a little uh, rundown for you. So uh, anytime you start a motor from cold, uh, if it's not a fuel injected engine, it's going to need choked. So I'm going to show you the process of pulling the choke uh, all the way up. Um, maybe it's a lever um, that goes back and forth. Maybe it's just a push button like this and it pulls straight out. Um, after you operate the choke and pull it all the way out, you're gonna make sure that you're in the turtle position, right? You wanna run the mower as slow as possible. And then you're gonna simply start it up. After it begins to fire, you just uh, slowly press the choke in and it will idle out. Okay, there's a couple things that you need to know about your panel here um, and uh, basically this is your PTO or your power takeoff so this is how you operate your blades so most of them will you'll pull out towards you to engage your blades you'll push in to turn them off we're not going to worry about our blades right now we're just going to keep it in turtle mode keep it in slow okay now let's talk about our arms here now once you have your arms uh, in they'll be activated, right? So there's some little slots down here that basically say, you know, uh, it'll show you forward and backward, okay? So the number one thing you wanna worry about um, when you actually uh, go to move the mower around is keep your hands loose. Don't death grip them um, and worry about being all herky. You, you know, if you, if you really grip up on the controls, you're gonna be really herky-jerky with it. And so, the easiest way to learn it is to learn it at idle and just how the mower works, okay? So forward, backwards, and just, you know, manipulating the, the arms and getting it to move how you want it to. So after a little bit, you'll get used to it. Um, I, the most common mistakes I see is people will just run it up. They're like, I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna throttle up and go, right? So the higher you go, the more responsive it is, okay? So those same movements that I just made in idle are a lot, a lot crazier when you have it idled way up. So the, the number one tip I have for you is to keep your hands free and just kind of sitting on the arms, not losing control of them. But when you go over bumps and stuff, you want your arms to move around the, or you want your actual hands to move around the arms. You don't want to have a death grip on them. So every time you're hitting something, you're, you're, uh, you know, hitting back and forth. So. That's just one of those main tips that I say, just keep it loose, keep it relaxed, and you'll be just fine. So that when you do throttle up, you can make nice fluid movements.
All right, so we'll go ahead and shut the mower down so that uh, my voice isn't drowned out by the engine. So some models have a parking brake, and so um, some of the time you're going to have to worry about a mechanical parking brake that you need to release. So, so some of them are a lever, some of them are a foot pedal. Um, this Hustler Fast Track does not have a parking brake, so I can't really show you on this model. Um, I'd have to go to a showroom and show you all kinds of different models. But um, So you have your parking brake, your arms come in and out, you have your seat switch, right? So if you were to get off of the mower um, while the blades are running, it's going to shut off on you. So. Um, there's tons of safety features. The mower won't start with the with the arms in, and it won't start without your butt in the seat. So there are a lot of safety features that go into it. So it's kind of hard to hurt yourself on one of these. It's just like a riding lawn mower or a lawn tractor. You get off of it, the blade stop, all that stuff, right? So then we talk about our mower deck. So all of them have kind of their own proprietary design for what they are. Um, this one's a foot pedal, and then it has a bunch of different uh, a bunch of different holes that you can set the pins, uh, you can set the pin down in, and then it just comes back to the stop and it's set at the height that you want to mow at. So pretty simple design, pretty hard to mess up. Um, you know, just don't run over anything crazy and you'll be all right. Um, so let's talk about uh, operating the PTO or uh, engaging the blades. So you don't want to engage the blades at full throttle. Um, you want to engage the blades at partial throttle. Um, there's kind of a cheat sheet here on the side that shows, hey, where your throttle should be when you want to engage the blades. So, man, sorry guys, I'm sweating out here. Um, it's 95 degrees. So, uh, you know, it'll show you exactly where you want to uh, engage the blades. Now, the real reason why you want to do this like this is because um, you don't want the engine at full horsepower or full power and then uh, engage the belt because it will prematurely wear your belt. Okay. So you're basically, you have all of these things that are a dead stop and then bam, you're going to engage at PTO and you're trying to get everything running really fast, right? So you engage it at mid throttle and then you ramp it up slowly. Okay. And then there's another indicator that says, don't turn off the blades until you're back down at idle. So uh, same thing, you're taking all this rotating mass and you want to turn it off when it's at a lower RPM so there's not a lot of momentum going. So you want to disengage the blades at idle where there's the, the least amount of momentum going. So um, you really can't mess it up. I mean, when I got the mower, I read through the instruction manual a hundred times. Um, and you know, it's reading material for the toilet or in bed at night and you just uh, read through all of the precautions and stuff and you get uh, very intimate with the instructions and then literally get out in the yard and have fun and um, you know, uh, go out and mow the yard, make it look beautiful, right? Uh, I have other videos on how to turn a zero turn mower to avoid, you know, divots in the grass or tearing up your grass. Um, I have uh, how to stripe your yard, um, how to mow in the correct way so that you get the best uh, stripes or best bang for your buck. Um, there's a bunch of other videos in this series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you're subscribed to the channel, well, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.